have made you a father of many nations. Amen. See, in the presence of him whom he believed, God who gives life to the dead and called those things which do not exist as though they did, who contrary to hope and hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken. So shall your descendants be. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. And Abraham didn't have weak faith. God spoke a thing to him and he believed God. When everything else it seemed like an impossible situation all the fire was gone everything was out not only in him but in Sarah too see Sarah stood back and the Bible says that as the angel of the Lord spoke to Abraham because of his faith see how do you tell me I'm going to be the father of many nations you give me a son through a wife that's already past childbearing age in the natural but a child is delivered to us and then you say give him back What do you do when the Lord tells you to take that precious boy that he's given you? You know you prayed for a son and the Lord said, give him back. What do you do when your son don't seem to want to do what the Lord has already ordained for him to do? And you keep covering him and the Lord say, give him back. What do you do when that daughter is doing what she ain't supposed to do and you keep bailing her out and the Lord said to you, give him back? But God, that's my baby. Give him back. But God, you don't understand. I, I, I love my baby, God. You know what you say, mama. I'll die and go to hell for my child. And God says, give him back. Give him back. Mm, mm, mm. What do you do, Hannah? When you have a Samuel, I ask God. When you've got Penina in your life and ain't nothing going right, what do you do, Hannah? When you have a son, your only son, that you prayed for, that you were a well in age and everybody around you seemed blessed and Penina kept showing her children off and your husband Elkanah kept blessing her and giving to her children and would only give you a little portion but what do you do Hannah when the Lord hear you on the altar and then he says give him back mm. I ain't playing for that one cause I hear the Lord Sometimes when you cry bitter tears and you say, Lord, that's my only child. Lord, that's my son. Lord, that's the child of my heart. Lord, after the accident, I asked you again for a son and you gave me a son and now you want me to give him back. Because God says, I can do more with him. If you'll trust me, Abraham, lay him on the altar. Abraham, hey, daddy, what's going on here? I, I, I see the knife. I see the wood. I see the fire. But ain't nobody going up this mountain but me and you. Daddy? You all right? I'm just checking. Daddy? What you what you mean lay on the wood, Daddy? God said, give him back. See, the problem is we want what God gives us, but we don't want to give nothing back. 